Hi guys, welcome back. This is part 12. In this video I'm going to show you how I added a hallway behind the boxes. Alright, so I want to utilize that space behind the boxes. There's a little space between the boxes and the back wall. And I, I just hate unused space. So knowing that's there, I want to do something with it. And I can't do much because there's only a little tiny bit of space. I've decided to turn it into a hallway. So what I came up with was, I'm going to move this house right out of the way. So I put a board on there. It's just a cardboard. It's just to flatten out that wall. And I put a board on the back of the box. There was a little lip there. So I'm utilizing that space. And then I put another cardboard on top of that lip, just for added stability. And I used tacky glue and masking tape. And I know that this uh, isn't totally sturdy. So I'm going to put a little brace on that back wall so when this goes into the wall it's going to sit on top of this brace as well all right i put plaster on that cardboard and then i painted it and then gave it a coat of varnish just to seal it in i added some baseboards i did these a little bit different than i did my last ones and i'm going to throw that clip in i'm making the baseboards for the hallway and remember when I did the first ones in the last video, I covered them with paper towel, but I didn't want to do that because it's kind of time consuming. Um, I mean, it's an option if you don't have any other option, but as I was doing this one, I thought, I don't want to do that, so what can I do? So the reason why I did paper towel in the first ones is because of this part in here, and I thought I won't be able to paint that properly, and they're going to be seen. If I would have been thinking, I'm just going to use a little bit of this stuff, and I'm going to run it along the top and fill in those lines wait for it to dry and then paint them and problem solved and there's that brace I was talking about so the so the cardboard on the back of the box just slides right in between there and this wall cannot be pushed in even though it's going diagonally across I put a brace in between the back wall and the cardboard on the top and a brace in between the back wall and the cardboard on the bottom so I can push on that and it's not going to be pushed in. And then once I did that and it turned out so well I decided to do one behind my round door, the round door that's on top of the stairs. I'll show you the inside in a minute but that's this one here and I did the same thing for the walls there. And these most likely will have uh, some sort of decoration put on them. I just don't know what I'm going to do yet so I'll leave it until I'm ready to get to that part. And here's the back of the boxes. This is the floor that's going to slip in between those baseboards and that brace. So I just put some uh, carpet on there. This is actually upholstery or drapery fabric that I found in the thrift store and it works perfectly as a carpet. So when I look into this space from all angles it looks like the uh, hallway continues on both ends which is nice. All right, so the I showed you the bottom uh, floor that I also put in. This is the top of the stairs, and here is the bottom of the stairs with my with my round door. So it's light outside still, so it's gonna be hard to see totally. But I put a light back there, and I'm gonna get to lights in the next video. But there we go. When you look from the top here, you can see the lights on down there too. So once my house is permanently attached into the wall and it's not going to be moving around, I can easily get my hand in there and work. So I'm going to be using a homemade clay and I'm going to round out all the inside with my clay and I'm going to attach that uh, tin foil you see back there. It's going to be attached permanently to the wall and it's going to look like one piece. I'm going to round it out. But I'm not going to be working with plaster for that because it's too difficult. Um, to get the plaster where I need it to go so I'm going to use a homemade clay and that clay is actually here on YouTube if you're interested in taking a look at that. Um, we'll get more into that as I get further into this project but I will um, throw that clay video up here somewhere. It should be popping up on your screen. So we'll end the video here guys and we'll see you in the next one where I talk about lighting up the dollhouse and different options for lighting up your dollhouse. I'll see you over there.